So I've been having some issues with my stereo. Uh, plays well, turns on fine. Connects to my phone just fine. Seems like it might have some grounding issues. There is a little bit of feedback uh, with the USB. And then uh, once I turn the volume up, uh, it ends up doing the, uh, the auto shutdown uh, on the head unit for uh, safety, I assume. So uh, let's see if I can reproduce it. But the, uh, what I'm gonna do today is, uh, right now it's running off of the, uh, the ground that was on the initial stereo. Uh, I'm guessing that might not be good enough. Uh, hopefully it's just that simple. Uh, so what I did is I actually bought some bigger ground wire and some terminals uh, so I'm just gonna run this ground wire straight to the battery run it straight to the head unit uh, see if that resolves the issue you know I have the same thing you know here's the here's the stereo I have two speakers up front two in the back running off the head unit and then I have a, an amplifier I think it's a 500 by one running a subwoofer that I have just tucked away underneath the stereo unit. So hopefully uh, if I reground everything, um, I'll get uh, some better action. Let's see if I can reproduce the issue. So I just can't handle the high volume. So let's see if running a new ground will resolve the issue. It looks like it's either a issue with the ground or issue with the power. Neither of the wires coming out of the deck are all that big. I was not very impressed, especially for a deck that's supposed to be 55 watts per channel. So uh, let's see what we can do. So I got enough ground to reground the amplifier. Right now the amplifier is grounded uh, to the same thing all the other electronics are. And that's uh, wherever the boat was grounded in the first place, which is I think causing maybe an issue. Uh, the subwoofer never seemed to cut out, but uh, I just want to be on the safe side and do everything right so I don't have to mess with it again. If you don't have it grounded right, don't have the right power, things like that, your amplifier can actually get too hot. So you want to make it as easy or as easy as you can on the thing. So this is just to be on the safe side here. So we'll see how it goes. All 
All right, so now the stereo and the amplifier are both grounded to the to the uh, battery. We'll see how it goes. Let's start off low. came to uh, stereo shorten out a lot of the stuff had to do with speaker wire my speaker wire I knew was just fine I installed green grade speaker wire uh, to the right gauge um, what I could see from here was that the uh, the uh, the backlighting on the stereo would flicker when you turned it up and when you plug in the uh, USB you'd see uh, a little bit of feedback so my guess was that the ground was wrong and uh, I was right. So the easiest thing to do and the best thing to do, especially with the old old boats where they weren't exactly made for the big stereos is just to ground everything straight to the battery. So good to go.